Hello again students and welcome to the homework concerning the second nugget on biomass for energy. Following this nugget you shall have a brief insight into the fundamental properties of biomass. And you need to have that insight to understand the need of diverse processes to convert biomass into biofuel. And since different types of biofuel are more or less well suited for different types of energy demanding processes, you will realize that the origin of the biomass will more or less determine the fuel customers that are best suited to buy your product. To arrive at this understanding, you will first have some reading to do. As you see from this slide, and as you remember from the theory session, we have used one open text textbook and then we have used distance learning material from the Carnegie Mellon University. There were a few other literature sources mentioned in the theory lecture, but they are to be seen as complementary. But as you understood from the theory session, is cellulose and lignocellulose one very important part of the biomass we can find around us? Terrestrial plant cell walls are mainly lignocellulose. So, to really understand the fundamentals of lignocellulose, I'd recommend you download and read the PDF file mentioned at the bottom of this slide. You may find the text a bit heavy, and it is okay to scan it rather than to read it in detail. But that text will deepen your understanding of the most important biomass that we have around us, and that is the lignocellulose. Some of you may feel a bit uneasy with the chemistry involved. If that is so, I would highly recommend that you try to refresh your chemistry a bit. In this slide I only give three different websites and they are all concentrated on the chemical background needed for the cell chemistry. If you feel you need more chemistry, I would suggest you scan the courses offered by the Carnegie Mellon University. They have a very good material introducing chemistry from the most basic level. Before going into what you shall do, I want to recommend one more bit of reading. As you have now understood, are the cell walls to a great extent determining as the biomass properties are concerned? So if we could manipulate the cell walls, then that would open up new possibilities. And this paper will give you a hint of what might be a future development. Now from the course introduction, the second introductory lecture, you will remember that the main course literature in this course has a slightly, slightly different categorization of the biomass than the international standard. The handbook has lignocellulose, herbaceous, patricible and other biomasses. But what you shall do now is to concentrate on biomass composition. So uh, go to the BusyPlan Handbook website and open the Phyllis database. There are other databases than Phyllis, but I personally tend to use Phyllis because it is simple to use and has a nice presentation of the data. Open the category Blends and Mixtures and you will see there are a total of eight datasets. Two blends, five mixtures and one other. Select all by marking the box blends and mixtures and then ask for the average of the selected. This slide shows the ultimate analysis. The table shows minimum and maximum values, median and mean values and the standard deviation. And the rightmost column shows a miniature diagram about how the values are distributed between minimum and maximum. I am personally very much in favor of this presentation because it gives me the opportunity to judge by myself if I think the mean value is representative or not. So what I want you to do as your homework is simply to play around in Phyllis using the knowledge you now have about the organic macromolecules and you shall try to apply this knowledge and get familiar 
with the use of databases like Phyllis. Think about the uh, elementary composition, the ultimate analysis, the heating values. Try setting together different sets of data and see how the analysis changes and just play around. Spend a few hours playing around in databases.